And the Clippers looking good as they came into the arena before the game. Important to make a splash in hostile territory. Greetings, everyone. Glad to have you here with us on this Wednesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined by Craig Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. And how about we check the numbers for James Harden? And, guys, this effective field goal percentage is trending in the wrong direction over the past five games. Shot discipline hasn't been the best. He'll be looking to play a smarter game tonight. And the Clippers starting five. Man in at shooting guard with George at small forward. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubac. And it's Harden in at the one. And for the Trailblazers, Jeremy Grant is out there with DeAndre Ayton. Then it's Walker. Then it's Anthony Simons. And it's Thibel in at the two. Both teams limping Steve into this game. It's going to be, we know, a war of attrition. Kevin, they're trying to wear each other down. These are also the types of matchups where new stars can emerge. Some guys will be getting more minutes. Got to make the most of them. And Portland starts out with the ball. Now Simons. Eight in a screen on Hart. Now here's Simons. Clock at six. Pass to Walker. Fires from way outside. Here's Hayton. It's rebounded by Leonard. Over Hayton. And it's Leonard missing. And Simons has got the ball here for the Portland Trailblazers. Last time they came together was in Los Angeles, where they fell to the Clippers. Rough game defensively. I mean, they lost a lot of the individual matchups, and the help was slow to rotate. Point blank, this is a bad combination. If you're looking to get stops, that's not the way. There, they get it going. One for four now. Always feel good to get that first one. There's the steal. Here's Simon. And he gets it to go. Look at Simon Smooth making the effort to get out ahead on the break. And here's Los Angeles. Four-point game. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. And that was a game to forget. You'd like to find some teachable moments, but I think they'd like to just turn the page and move forward. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we overanalyze things. Can't be better to just let it go. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. And it's Aiton missing. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Here's Leonard. Some solid defense from Grant. Three straight misses to begin this contest and already starting to look frustrated. And one thing you love about Jeremy Grant is his versatility as a player. GA plays both ends with activity and skill. A switchable 6'8 frame. He's a plug and play on any roster in this league. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. will reveal the most reliable free throw shooters in the league with a look at the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. And Bernie Simons fourth. I mean, he's not going to miss many foul shots. That's for sure. He is a machine when he gets to the charity strike. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Harden against Simon. Left side, Leonard. Releases. 
There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. And that's what he's looking for. After three straight misses, finally finds the mark. As to Simons. Walker with his screen for Simons. Again, Simons missing. Clippers trail by four. Puts it up from 15. And Leonard gets it to go. From mid-range, Kawhi's touch is just fantastic. And there's the pass to Grant. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. This is it to Thibel. Here's Hayton. He takes it in. A kick out to Simon. Off target from outside. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Harden outside. George against Simon. And that one's good, George. It's a tie ball game. It's almost too easy for Paul George inside. He gets right in close and converts. Harden against Simon. Grant outside. Simon's with the screen on Leonard. Here's Grant. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And their offense is really clicking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. Pass to George. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. And Simons has got the ball here for the Trailblazers. Eibel on the wing. Back to Simons. Shot clock at five. Here's Grant. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Moving the ball with conviction. Simon's dropping a dime. For Los Angeles, they've gone 3-7 of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Here's the screen. George, that's a two-pointer. And it's George again missing. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Simon's kicks to Thibel. To Simons, beyond the arc, trains the three-pointer. Simons has got seven points in the game. Easy money for Anthony Simons. He could live out there if he had to. George with a screen on Simons. Pass to George. Here's Leonard. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Leonard's got his third bucket of the night. Portland leading by three. Simons on the wing, guarded by Hart. From 12 feet out. And it's Simons missing. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. At the line for two, Walker. And the first one drops. Hey, GA, you went to back-to-back -back conference finals with Portland. What's it like playing here? I mean, this building is as loud as any in the NBA. The fans are tremendous, very loyal. I really enjoyed my time here in Rip City. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Henderson's checked in, and a switch here also for the Clippers. Powell, he's checked in for George. Now, here's Leonard. He has six. Fires from deep. Bangs home the trifecta. He's got nine. The three ball from the claw. The defense has to be better than that. Anderson against Harden. Portland moving the ball around. Left side, Grant. He feeds it to Ayton. Shoots over Zubats. And that one's good, Ayton. Ayton's got his second bucket of the night. Just great awareness there from eight. Understands the game plan and reads the game so well. 
Harden outside. Puts up a deep three. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Fibel, the pass to Anderson. Right wing. Grant, right side. And it goes down two points. And the Trailblazers lead by five. You know, there's some power to Jeremy's game now. He's become hard to knock off balance. Zubats with the screen for Hart. Here he goes. Up and in on the layup. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Bible on the wing. There's a minute 47 left in the first quarter. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Anthony Simons. And one thing that has been very consistent for him the last few years, his ability to continue to deliver more and more offense. He's been doing everything that's been asked of him. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Mason Plumley's checked in for Zubox. Amir Coffey comes in for Mann. And Bones Island subbed in for James Harden. The shot by Powell, no good. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Grant, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. It is tough to overlook the pedigree of the Grant family, but you see where Jeremy Grant gets his talent. No mistake in that, Kevin. When your dad is Harvey Grant and your uncle is Horace Grant, you are destined to make it in the NBA. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Leonard. And Georgia subbed in for Amir Coffey. Henderson against Highland. One twelve left in the first quarter of the game. From deep, George. Good, another from three. And he shattered the franchise single season high for three-pointers made. Getting them up and connecting with high volume. He's been a flamethrower all season long. To the inside. And the dunk by Grant. Already a gifted passer. Henderson has solid vision for such a young player. Grant against George. There's the triple. Rebounded by Kamare. Simons has got the ball here for the Trailblazers. Leading by five. And what a score Anthony Simons has become, Steve. Wow. I love it, Kevin, because he can do it from all three levels. Smooth jumper, uses his body to protect the ball when he's driving inside. And some nights, he's unstoppable. It's obvious that Simons' game is the product of hard work. You don't get to be as accurate as he is without lots of practice time. Maurice checked in for Portland. Island against Henderson. The pass to George. Here's Powell. Jacks up a three. And Tucker kicks to Powell. Fires for three. Rebounded by Kamare. Murray is surveying the D. Launches a three. And oh, he hits the buzzer beater. Big time shot to beat the buzzer there. My goodness. He had to rush that one a little, but terrific stroke from range. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Trailblazers. So far for me, they found a lot of good shots in the bit range. They've been fearless attacking with the jump shot. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. Clippers trail by 10. Anderson and Simons, they have guard duties. Then there's Murray. And it's Kamare in at the four. They're the group the Portland Trailblazers will start the second quarter with. Now here's Powell. Scoreless thus far. And George gets it to go. PG-13 showing shades of his younger self with that quick shot. Henderson passes to Murray. 
Anderson outside. Launches it, and the Trailblazers another three. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now, here's George. 26 points for him last game against Atlanta. And he really made an impact defensively. His four steals were huge. Three points. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. It's Henderson on the wing. He's defended by Highland. Henderson against Highland. Floats one. Henderson, no good. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. Here's George. And it's the Clippers scoring again. Silky smooth stroke. Nice touch. Paul George is a terrific jump shooter. Henderson against Highland. Now here's Henderson. He's tightly guarded. He can't get that one to fall. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, there's a new era in Portland with number three pick Scoot Henderson viewed as the franchise player of the future. He says, I'm going to embrace it. I've got a lot of responsibility, but it just comes with the work ethic. I always fall back on getting in the gym. I'm determined to be the best version of myself. Kevin, back to you. I love the fact, David, don't you, that he wants to be great. That was a terrific report. Thank you. Here's George. Portland making their last shot. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Henderson against Highland. And that one's good by Henderson. And it's a nine-point trailblazer lead. Clippers have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Up top, Tucker. There's the pick. Back to George. The tray. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, you know they wanted a few of those plays back. What a tough way to go out in that one. Yeah, they came in with a purpose, gave everything they had. It just wasn't quite enough. Craig, you look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. Yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. Henderson against Highland. Dishes to George. Over Murray. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down now to just six in the basket from Paul George. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? They set the pick. Henderson for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Henderson's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Trailblazers. Here's Highland. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Here's Powell. That shot is off. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Henderson passes to Murray. Powell against Simon. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Simons has got 14 points. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes. And they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Passes it to George. down in the shot clock 17 points in the game they're still behind but not because of his efforts he's been unbelievable this quarter both teams deciding to change it up we get a break in the action so let's take a look at the west and how the teams are stacking up you take a look at the clippers they've had a great season and we'll look to extend that into the playoffs and checking out portland quite a few spots down the ladder right now and when you look at the Clippers, most of the preseason predictions 
were right on the money when it came to them. I mean, a playoff contender, but not necessarily championship caliber. I agree. As good as they've been, they do seem like they're missing that true killer instinct that sets the great teams apart from the good ones. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Here's Mann, guarded by Walker. Mann can't hit. Trailblazers leading by 10. Simons kicks to Thibel. Simons with a screen on Leonard. Thibel, and he makes good on the layup. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Harden scanning the floor. Off target with his three. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Pass to Simons. And he banks in the lane. Simons has got the lead up to 14 now for the Trailblazers. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Leonard. He's coming off a 28-point game against Atlanta. Even though he got fouled a lot, he never lost any of his aggressiveness. He kept making free throws, and in the process, really frustrated the deep. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. Aiton, he's checked in for Portland. Henderson comes in for Inferni Simons. Now, here's Thibel. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Here's Grant, and he drops it in from the low post. Grant's got 11 points. We love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. The three from George. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Takes it inside. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Harden kicks to George. That's the man. The three. He's now one for two with that bucket. They're having more success from three-point range here in the second after a rough first quarter from deep. Eibel with the ball. The pass to Aiton. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Harden. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And this is Harden's specialty. One of the best in the league at drawing contact and yet still able to convert. Simons, he's checked in for Henderson. Norman Powell's checked in for the Clippers. And coming down the back nine of the NBA season, Steve, the second half, what are the contending teams most focused on at this point of the year? It's about keeping their rhythm, adding a little bit more each day, maintaining the health, you want to be ready to go once the playoffs arrive. That's the big thing, though, rhythm. Harden kicks to Zubats. Passes to Mann. Unloads from 13. Almost, but it rolls out. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Leonard with the steal. Pass to Harden. To the middle. Here's Powell. Nails the baby hook. Powell's got his first bucket in this one. Tough defense, but in the end, Norman Powell finds a way to score. Grant with a screen on Harden. 56 seconds left in the first half of the game. Aiton finds Feibel. Second shot opportunity. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on James Harden. 
<laughs> and at seven foot one and 250 pounds, Aiden is a handful. Not easy trying to guard him without foul. Two shots. And the second free throw, good. 50 seconds left now here in the second. Harden dishes to Lenny. Harden sets the pick for Leonard. No good on the three. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Grant, that's good. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Here's Leonard. Following the basket by Jeremy Grant. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Some solid defense from Grant. Portland leading by 12. And here is Simon. He had a 30-point outing their last game against the Bulls in Chicago. And no one on defense could stay in front of him. He continually got pummeled and kept getting back to the strike. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. And so it's the Portland Trail Blazers up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. Dave. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Thanks for tuning in. We love the mountain climbing, don't we? Well, there's a huge mountain to climb for the Los Angeles Clippers. Okay, fellas, time to dig into the mental archive. Any particular memories of dominating a first half like we just saw? Just like Kenny winning two championships, I don't think anyone saw that coming. But it did happen. Keep doubting me, Shaq. It's my fuel. And now let's talk about our game at hand. What a first half for the Trail Blazers. They've been active on the glass. That's helped them take control of this game. It's tough to be the team that's rebounding as well as they are right now. And even when you block these guys out, someone comes knifing in to the other spot on the floor. It's a problem. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at Paul George in this game, guys. He, he's been everywhere. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. What can you say? Shooting is a premium in this league, and you can see why. So for the Clippers right now, George and Leonard are the forwards. Then it's Ivica Zubac. Then it's Harden, and it's Mann in at the two-guard spot. Six on the shot clock. The 11-footer, it'll go. The Portland lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Harden. And Harden is a nightmare in the pick and roll. Just a clever combo guard who is completely unpredictable. Simons, the pass to Thibel. Outside, Walker. Excellent D there from Jordan. And here's George. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Leonard on the wing. He's covered by Grant. Leonard kicks to Harden. Pass to George. Shoots the three. Here's Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. Wow, Zubats finishing that drive. Portland leading by eight. And the rejection by Zubats. And it's out of bounds to Portland. I'll retain possession. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Yeah. 
Here's Simon. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. Here's Leonard. That ball's nice feed that time from George. Leonard's got 11 points. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. Harden against Simon. Here's the pass to Aiton. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Defensive Finally foul. getting one to fall. Defensive they were 0 for 3 to start this half. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And that 82% free throw percentage this season must have him feeling pretty good about himself at the line. Clippers trail by nine. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Harden against Simon. Harden, no good. After hitting three straight, they finally missed one. But you can see the rhythm coming out of the half. Grant with a screen on Harden. Simon's on the wing, guarded by Harden. And it's Simon's missing. Ooh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Leonard, the pass to Harden. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Right side, Leonard. Five on the clock. Buries it down low. 13 points in the game. Just crushing it here. 80% to start the half. Simons surveying the D. Pass to Walker. Portland needs to get off a shot. Here's Ayton. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Ayton's got 12 points in the game. Just terrific at executing in the paint. Ayton has a nice array of shots to choose from. George passes to Mann. Grant against Leonard. Here's George. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Aiton's. Thibault kicks to Simons. Aiton a screen on Hart. Simons against Harden. Pulls up, high post, and it's Simons missing. Clippers trail by nine. George passes to Harden. Now Zubox, he has five. He dishes it to George. To the paint. Kicks it out to Leonard. This one for three. It's good from long range. Leonard's got seven points for the quarter. Nice recognition there by Paul George, just getting the ball to the open man. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Scoot Henderson has prepared himself for the pressures of the NBA. He meditates, he reads books on self-improvement, and he said, I'm pretty sure you can lose yourself making a lot of money. You've got to be mentally sound. There's going to be downsides of being this young and successful. But I don't like failure, so I just try to minimize that. Kevin? Wise words, David. <laughs> Wise words. Thank you. Grant kicks to Thibel. Plays it up off the glass. Thibel's got his third basket of the night right there. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. I mean, it seems like whenever Matisse Thibault's number has been called, he's been ready. GA really speaks to his confidence and his professionalism. Matisse Thibault embraces his role, and he's ready to go when his number is called. So much sharper, so much more efficient with his shot this half, just taking what the defense allows. 
Simons against Harden. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points for the chance for another one at the strike. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Powell is jacked in for Terrence Mann. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They trail by nine points. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And finishing through contact, nothing new for Harden. He welcomes it. And boy, can that be demoralizing to the defense. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Trailblazers. It's all about the mid-range game. It has been a real difference in this one. Taking what the defense has given, and it's been paying off. And we also got to talk about the damage they've done inside. The opposition having a hard time keeping that ball out of the paint. Portland leading by six. Anderson looking it over. Ibo on the wing. Guarded by Powell. Stolen by George. They're running. Puts the move on. And Harden lays it in. And 12 points for James Harden. And when he's in the open court, Harden has one thing on his mind. Finish. Grant with a screen on Harden. Henderson kicks to Walker. Pass to Grant. It's good again in the next one. Seven for eight shooting night so far. Hey, what a showing this has been for Jeremy Grant, putting in the work to contribute on the offensive end. Screen by Zubox. Harden against Ayton. Outside for George. Shot clock at six. From outside the arc. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Ayton's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Pass to Anderson. Back to Grant. Now the pass to Aiden. Shoots over Zubac. And it's Aiden missing. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. The shot by Powell, no good. Trailblazers leading by six. Henderson kicks to Thibel. Passes it to Ayton. The dish to Henderson. Over Harden. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got eight rebounds in this game. Two minutes remaining in the third. Pass to Harden. Two Zubats a screen on Henderson. Henderson against Harden. Down low. Here's Zubats. The shot comes out. Some solid defense from eight. Portland has gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. Here's Henderson. And the rejection by Harden. Leonard the pass to Harden. A three ball. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Sometimes it's all about patience. His first three of the game, something to build on. Over to the wing. Grant, right side. Back to Henderson. Five over three. A three-pointer is right on target. Five has got nine. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. It's Harden with the drive. He kicks it to Leonard. Stolen by Henderson. Inside. Stolen by Zubox. George against Grant. George passes to Harden. A shot's good on the assist by George. George has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock to the paint. Here's Feibel. Kicks it to Ayton. 
Henderson outside. Portland moving the ball around. Just five on the clock. To the middle, stolen by Zubac. And now here's George, the fast break opportunity. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Good luck containing Paul George on the drive. He's one of the more fluent wings in the league. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And he's at nearly 90% from the free throw line this season, so having a terrific year. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. In a league full of scores, Paul George still stands out. There's a versatility to his shooting game that just makes him exceptional. And George drops them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Trailblazers out in front, Rob one. From Portland, we're back in a moment. And let's take a listen now to Coach Teron Liu. Hey, we got to get more physical down to the end, man. We got to get some stuff. If we don't get stuff, it's going to be a long night for us. Well, GA focusing on the physicality of the game. He clearly wants more aggressiveness. And understandable. Setting the tone on defense critical if you want to get this win. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Henderson and Simons, they have guard duties. Then there's Murray, and it's Kamare in at power forward. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. Here's Highland. Puts up a deep three. Rebound by Murray. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that game. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space. But that does make it a tougher shot. Henderson, no good. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. It's a one-point game to take the lead. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Second defense throws everything at George. But he persists and finds a shot. Paul George taking two shots. One drops. He ties it up. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Now, here's Simon. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. And the Trailblazers lead by one. Henderson against Highland. And here's George for three. Rebounded by Kamare. This is the guy who had three threes in the first half. Since then, still waiting on number four. Henderson outside. Out to the wing. Here's Kamara. He's guarded by Plumley. Four on the shot clock. And it's Simons missing. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. The shot by George, no good. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. It's Henderson on the wing. He's defended by Highland. A floater. 
and that one's good by Henderson. And now a three-point trailblazer lead. A little like Donovan Mitchell there. Henderson makes some really tough shots in traffic. Highland passes to George. The good-looking shot from the wing. George has got four points this quarter. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Powell against Murray. Simons on the double team. Here's Tucker. Off target from three-point range. For Portland, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. To the left wing. Pass to Simons. They set the pick. Pass to Kamare. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. And the pass to Tucker. Feeds to George. Shoots over Simon. And it's George missing. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Simon's against George. Now, here's Simon. Not a lot of room. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Henderson against Highland. Here's George to take the lead. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And Los Angeles with some changes. Zubat is checked in for Plum. Leonard comes in for P.J. Tucker. And James Harden subbed in for Highland. He wanted to get his team the lead. And even though he didn't, he should feel good. At least he tied it up. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Trailblazers missing. And they funk this quarter. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. And here's Harden for three. Good on the three-point shot. Harden's got the lead up to three now for Los Angeles. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this couple. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. They just stuck with the game plan. Simons, the pass to Walker. They need this one. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got nine rebounds now tonight. Outside for George. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. Trailblazers trail by six. Simons with the ball. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. You like that he's still attacking, but the result... And again for three. And it's amazing to say he's almost second overall in career three-pointers. And many of those are from way beyond the arc. This guy puts on a shooting display every single night. And to be sneaking up on Ray Allen and Steph Curry, two of the purest jump shooters we've ever seen, unreal. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Angeles. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Guys, over the break, Chauncey Billups had some advice for his team. Now, he asked for one thing, intensity. 
He said, I need you to crank it up to 11 out there. That's how we turn it around. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And it's Paul George with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Walker finds Simon. Passes to Aiton. Plays it up and banks it in. And a strong showing of physical strength there from Aiden. Defenders have their hands full when he's around the rim. Pass to man. Shoots from the right block. And again, the Clippers good for two. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Grant with a screen on Hart. Simons, the pass to Aiton. No good. Clippers leading by nine. Here's Mann. Pass to Leonard. There's the three. Rebounded by DeAndre Aiton. And Simons has got the ball here for the Portland Trailblazers. And it's sent back by Leonard. Swallowing up shots like none other. Leonard Stout on the defensive end. And stolen by Feibel. Over Harden. Feibel can't get it to go. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 16-6 run. And that one's good, George. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Simons against Harden. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Oh, what a jam! Simons! Agile drive by Anthony Simons. He sees an opening and takes off. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Here's George. The 11-footer. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. The pass to Simon. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Simon's has got 23 points. You see the commitment from Anthony refusing to let the defense knock him off balance. Harden bounce pass. Here's George. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Trailblazers trail by seven. One thirty-five left here in the fourth quarter. Simons against Harden, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on James Harden. I think Simons wanted the whistle. He goes inside and makes havoc. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And another thing, guys, they dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Boy, did they need those free throws to go down. They're definitely within striking distance. Simons against Harden. Is it to George? George double team. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Man. Los Angeles with another miss. Trail Blazers trail by five. Grant finds Simon. Outside Walker. Ask the fight. Pointer. 
The shot, no good. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. And that's an intentional foul. Anthony Simon. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for the Clippers. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And what's remarkable is how complete Harden's game is. Making shots or making passes, he can create points in a number of ways. Good job. Want to keep fueling that lead. Make your free throws. Who wants one? We need you to make some noise for your Blazer dancer. Simons against Harden. From the arc, it's hauled in by the Clippers. Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? George dishes to Harden. 20 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Gets it to fall from the right block. The numbers are talking. Harden with a huge night, showing great versatility. Sinks the three-pointer. No moment too big for Grant. There's that clutch, Gene. And he commits the intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Taking two shots. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Now a timeout called by Portland. They're trailing by eight. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Man, I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. I just think they have to focus on the moment. Don't worry about the score. You worry about executing the next play. Puts up a deep three. It's hauled in by Zubats. And here's Harden. And so Los Angeles takes the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Kawhi, how satisfied are you with your team's performance tonight in this win? Well, we did a great job tonight. You know, we got to come in every game with the defensive hat on first, and we did that tonight. We made shots, and we, we ended up winning the game. You took it to them when it mattered, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now our New Balance player of the game, Paul George.